Okay, so scholar dollars. Um, this is just an example for Oregon State University. Scholar Dollars is, is a site that Oregon State University developed to host scholarships uh, to make it easier for students to apply to them. Um, some of these scholarships are specifically for OSU students um, so or incoming OSU students. Uh, so in addition to that admissions application, students can also apply for Scholar Dollars. And that's, that's another, it's kind of like OSAC, but a smaller version of that. Uh, that hosts uh, over 1,500 scholarship opportunities and over $50 million in funding. Um, so definitely a place to check out for scholarships, especially if you're gonna be an OSU student or you currently are an OSU student. Um, and just keep in mind that those are due by February 1st every year, unless they have to modify it for a certain reason, but usually it's that date. Opportunities for Oregon residents. Um, we've already mentioned OSAC, uh, but I do want to point out that if you do ORSA or FAFSA and uh, submit those applications, um, you may be eligible for the Oregon Opportunity Grant. So in addition to the federal Pell Grant, um, which is need-based, there's the Oregon Opportunity Grant, which is um, funded through the state government. Um, you may also qualify for that. So that's definitely a reason to make sure you get your applications in on time. And then also, like I mentioned before, they just have an endless, like a, a really long list of scholarships. So check out OregonStudentAid.gov. That's the place to apply. And it always opens on November 1st and usually ends on March 1st. Just a couple of tips on submitting strong applications. Make sure you follow the instructions. That's a really, really important rule. If the Instructions say don't go over a thousand characters or 300 words. Do not go over that because sometimes they automatically discard the ones that do because it would be giving you an unfair advantage over other applications. Um, be very personal and specific. Make sure you stand out as much as you can and that if you read, if I were to take your name out of your application and read it and I could think this could be any student, it's not personal personal or specific enough. It has to be pretty unique to your, your own story and your experiences. Um, speak in your own voice. It's okay to brag. Um, be proud of your accomplishments and share those with others so that they know everything you worked hard to accomplish. And read it out loud when you revise. Um, it always sounds a little different in your mind, so make sure that you also read it out loud and make sure it sounds the way you hope for it to sound. Revise, revise, revise and have other people help you revise. Don't do it all on your own because um, other people may spot things that you don't. And um, yeah, uh, request help from a mentor or friend. For external scholarships, uh, make sure that you are not being asked to pay or give any credit card information. Um, there's a lot of scams out there. Um, there's even some that will say, we guarantee you will get a scholarship. They can't do that. Um, so make sure you're not giving out any of your personal information like social security number um, to scholarships. Um, the, the, the state and federal grant stuff, they will ask you for that and that's, that's fine as long as you're on, on the right portal. But um, don't, don't trust those other ones. Um, yeah, so don't, don't give out credit card information, don't give out your social security number um, scholarships are competitive, so remember that you are not guaranteed to get a scholarship. Um, and if anyone says you are, then they're lying because scholarships are meant to be competitive. Um, protect your own personal information. If you have any doubts about a website or anything, make sure you ask. Don't continue the application until you can verify with someone else um, that it's actually a legitimate um, application. And use your time wisely. Um, like we mentioned before, a lot of times it's easier to compete for the smaller and local scholarships than it is for the really big national ones. So make sure you work your time efficiently and strategically uh, to give yourself the best chance uh, at winning those scholarships.